I'm here with Devin McLeod after the 100 lap king of the modified race at Citrus County Speedway. He's doing his best Troy to care with a Bud Light in his hand. Uh, I was, Troy drinks Mig Ultra. Huh? Troy drinks Mig Ultra. I've been drunk with him. I thought he drank Bush Light. I don't know. He's probably, hey, I can't talk trash like he's a seltzer beer guy because I'll get down with some seltzer beer. <laughs> so, a uh, finishing our interview from this morning, you kind of got frozen a little bit, but how would, I know the race wasn't how you wanted it tonight, but a, uh, what was it like from your view of the season the rest of the race? Yeah, I mean, the hell, the course started out really good. Um, <laughs> I think I rolled from eighth to fourth within like two laps, and then uh, at some point I, I would assume early on because the car kind of just went to hell in a hand basket there really quick. Uh, we broke the right rear shock mount, got just hanging off from that point forward. Came in trying to make a few changes, but at that point there's no way that you know Jerry rig it up or make anything happen. So I was still passing some cars, so we pitted three or four times and uh, we came to the field. We ended up finishing I think eight. Besides that shock mount, I'll get it up to uh, my man Todd at RTR Race Cars, and we'll fix it up. We'll get ready for the Eddie Braun in December or January second. How much of the of the action and the rough racing did you see between everything? You were you able to see any of it? Or? Oh yeah, I saw the two use the hell out of LJ. Um, I was you know keep the look out of the corner of my eye. I figured there was gonna be some fireworks, but uh, LJ LJ handled it the times right. And um, but no, nah, I mean I don't think there's too many core race cars. That's good. A couple of these lap cars are squirrels damn five car he's, uh, he's all over the place but uh um, not better than last weekend shit yeah no last weekend was crazy with 30 cars and just it, it took two hours to run 100 laps tonight we started out with a long green flag run and um it was good man it was a good night overall so next weekend you'll be back in uh sportsman down at Punta Gorda for the wheelman if that goes well maybe go to the Houston murder for the governor's come on Sunday that's that's what my car owners are telling me we're going Saturday down there and hopefully we can run good and make the uh, four or so hour trek uh Northeast, I guess it is, over to New Smyrna and see what we can do over there. Alright, so last question we didn't get asked you again. Who's your least favorite driver to race against? Uh, I mean, it changes. Uh, nobody pissed me off too bad tonight, I guess. I can't, I used some people up, but I wouldn't apologize. And, but uh, here lately, it's probably been uh, Tim Sozio. Uh, I can't pass that guy for nothing. Uh, hell, my right front fender is supposed to be white, but it's black. I think it's from him, but... Uh, I don't know, it changes every night. Somebody else pisses me off or I'll piss somebody else off and uh, move on to the next one, I guess. So who do you want to thank that made tonight possible? Man, I got to thank a lot of people. Tim Brink Underground, Marlon Dunn Contractors, Todd Brown with RTR, Dr. Vitamin Store. Um, I forget all these, but I'm thankful that Todd's standing right there with one of my shirts on has one of my sponsors on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, nah, I mean, just, and, and like I said earlier this morning, just all my family and friends, I mean, it's late, everybody's tired, drinking a few beers, and, still hanging out and just, we didn't run good but we still had fun so that's what it's about and uh look forward to doing it many more times to finish out this year we'll have some fun and we'll see you next weekend appreciate it guys we'll see you